Hello, my name is Gavin, and this is Playdate Central. Today we're counting down my favorite games for the Playdate console. If you don't know what the Playdate is, it's a small, handheld gaming console with a D-pad, two buttons, and a crank on the side. And it's available for pre-order as we speak. So if you want to stay up to date and see some gameplay when I get it in hand, make sure to subscribe so you never miss anything about Playdate. What makes the Playdate truly unique is that they've decided to distribute their games into seasons. And for season one, we get 24 games free. That's right, delivered to the Playdate console for absolutely free. Playdate wants their first season to be special, and therefore a surprise. But we do have some footage that we're going to go over right now. The first game is called Crankin's Time Travel Adventure, where he has to meet his girlfriend, Crankette, for a date. But he's always late, so you have to use the crank to move time to help him get to this date. I really like the mechanics and how you have to crank to control time, and I really hope this is one of the first Playdate games that we get, as I feel it is a perfect introduction to the crank and how to use it. This next game is a pretty fun game. It's also a crank-based game. It's called Whitewater Wipeout, and you use the crank to control this guy's surfing, and you do tricks to score bonus points. This game looks awesome. Just look at the high jumps. The last game we're going to talk about is called Saturday Edition, where you follow this guy. I believe his name is John Cornfield, and you go on a mystery to discover disappearances. Again, we don't know too much about this game, but from the looks of it, I really like the detail. I mean, just look at that apartment. And if you look at this as well, this is their inventory system for the game, I'm guessing. Um, I really enjoy how you can even, it looks like you can put some of the pieces together to try and solve the mystery here as well. I really enjoy all the attention to detail in this game, and I cannot wait to play it. One last honorable mention here, a tweet from Playdate popped up recently that said, Yes, please, on a side note, we may never get fully used to new Playdate games suddenly appearing that we had no idea existed. It is weird, but in a way, a great feeling. And that is in response to somebody tweeting out this, where they say, sneak peek of our super secret game for at Playdate. It looks to be a snowboarding game where you jump on your snowboard over obstacles to earn points. This game looks incredible especially if you think about the screen on the play date is just going to be black and white. So they did an amazing job on this. I can't wait to learn more about this game and I hope that I get a chance to play it. And that concludes the games that I'm excited for and all that we know about them so far within season one of play date. Let me know which one is your favorite. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on anything play date including gameplay, because I am so excited for all of these games to come out. My name is Gavin. This is Playdate Central. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Click on screen now because there are some huge updates about Playdate that I do not want you to miss.